Good morning, my loves. How are we? Oh, I'm excited for today's video. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so if you missed it, last week I posted a video which showed the whole process of us turning our downstairs, like, closed off little galley kitchen and little dark living room into one big, bright, beautiful, cohesive, open floor plan. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I can't believe it. We had to have, like, an RSJ installed because it's load-bearing wall. It was a whole situation, but now it is done. It looks phenomenal. And now the... the... The ball of responsibility has been handed from the builders back to us. So we have this wall. It's one of like the big main like feature walls in our living space. We had actually started plastering over the old wobbly like design plaster, thinking that that was the route that we were going to go. We we're just going to plaster over the top. But then Lewis took one of the fake beams off the wall and saw that it's just a whole brick wall. We had assumed that it was concrete because the rest of our house is built of concrete. So today we are going to be exposing the brick wall and making it look stunning. And we have just fully decided, we're fully committing, we're, we're going against the plaster, it doesn't matter, we wasted time and money, it does not matter, we are moving on. <laughs> and we are exposing brick. I'm so nervous and excited and this is, this is the general emotion that comes when you are starting a new task, a new house project. It's nerve wracking and you are ignorant to the struggles that you're probably going to face. So you're in a good mood, <laughs> so. Let's get cracking. I have absolutely no idea how this is going to go. I have not watched any tutorials. I'm just going to I'm just raw on it. Um, based upon what I observed when the builders did this. So, that could be my first mistake. <laughs> Time will tell. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna start, see what happens. I'm gonna wet everything down a little bit. Can you hear me? I don't know. Basically, I'm acting as a humidifier right now <laughs> because if the dust is humid, then then it won't become airborne as easily. Is that correct? That feels correct. So I'm gonna keep it wet. <laughs> managed to get done in just like a couple of hours honestly that went really easily like that was really not as hard as I was expecting it to be lovely we're clean ish show you the dust situation so from me like spraying everything so I put a dust sheet over the TV but I didn't actually cover like the rest of the sofa with it and I want to show you like the line where it shows you like where the dust that's come from this project <laughs> pretty good compared to like when the builders were in and obviously that's like right next to it. I'm pretty pleased with that genius solution. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it has been some time. <laughs> it's actually quite late in the day. It's currently half past 5 p.m. Um, not like it would ever be a.m. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But I have finished smashing all the plaster off the wall. It looks really good. Okay, so we've got some baking soda. 
which apparently you mix this stuff with just hot water, leave it on the bricks for like 10 minutes and ideally it will just come off and look stunning and 10 out of 10 and amazing. So let's do it. <laughs> that was really dusty. <laughs> I feel like we weren't getting anywhere with the whole baking soda situation, so we've upgraded our tools. So we're gonna see how this does against all the mortar stains. Hopefully we'll be a bit more successful. The hardest part about living in your renovation is that you literally have to re-clear the space every time you wanna work on it. Space buns do not work with ventilators. Wait, how am I gonna do that? We have our helper. obliterated it in not even I mean like I've done a chunk but not a massive chunk so um I don't have the car this weekend because Lewis was away for his half marathon go Lewis so check back in tomorrow when Amazon delivers us some more <laughs> why is the seat taken okay you guys probably know by now that I am an ambassador for Small because they are an eco-friendly household cleaning company and I found them when I was like rehauling my whole life and trying to become more eco-conscious. I think it was back in 2020. I have a package from them and I think that this is going to be the first ever unboxing on my channel. So this is actually like, this is actually groundbreaking content. This is never seen before stuff, okay? Now in here is Small's newest product, which I'm so excited about. I've been waiting for them to create this for the longest time. Are you ready? Oh my goodness. I'm really excited, but I'm trying to not get too excited because Harry Haggis really cannot deal with excitement. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine. You it's washing up liquid and it's pink. It literally smells like grapefruits. It's just grapefruits. That smells so yummy. Because it can't be dissolved in the same way that the sprays, like how that works, they actually get you to send the bottles back. There's a free shipping label. So you just smack the, the shipping label back on this box. It's free, you send it away and then they'll send you your refills. This is such a good system. This is honestly, this is so, this, Use my code for a free trial plus 25% off your first subscription order. Jump scare. I don't know why I'm so into jump scares recently, but like I am. No further questions, thank you. All right, so. This looks weird. Okay, they arrived. We're having a little bit of a dilemma um, and lunch. I'm having, I'm feeling, feeling I've been feeling very unhealthy recently because we've been traveling pretty much every single weekend for like... <sighs> this is my first weekend at home. <sighs> I have been feeling super unhealthy because we keep eating like McDonald's and stuff because we're traveling and we need like quick and easy meals on the road and stuff. So last night I decided to make myself pasta without the pasta. Here's remnants. So it's meatballs and veg. And it was really, what a good decision, honestly. Like, cause it fills you up, it's so nutritious, but it doesn't leave you with like the unhealthy feeling that like pasta always leaves you just feeling a bit like, you know? So I, oh wait, I wanted to show you as well. This, if you shop at Aldi, um, then you're probably pretty budget conscious as am I, but there are some things in life that I really do believe 
are worth spending a little bit of extra money on. And that for me is this pasta sauce from Aldi. I don't know what it is about this pasta sauce, but it's it's so nice. So I have multiple jars of it. I love it so much. So yeah, so this is what is in here. But anyway, we're eating lunch and we're looking at these because I ordered these off of Amazon yesterday. Sorry, Alfie. And they're technically for a angle grinder. I do not own an angle grinder. I own a drill. So my thought process is that the one that I bought from Screwfix yesterday was for a drill. So it came with this. I think you call it like an arbor. It's like an attachment. And basically in my head, that is just going to like Th these two things are gonna come together, they're gonna fit on the drill, and everything's gonna be smashing. <laughs> everything's gonna be sanding. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I did it. I'm kind of aware that these sort of activities are really not that interesting you know it's not a high stakes situation like plastering you know it's really just hold the thing against a wall until more wall is exposed it's not very fun so i think probably what i'm gonna do is just reset you up in exactly the same place that you are yesterday and just time lapse the shit out of this because i think that's really the only interesting way to capture this is just in a really mediocre time lapse okay cool Happy? I'm happy. killed by this project. Please tell me that it looks better. Cause I'm not sure. I don't even think I see a difference. Like how dusty this room is. I need a break. I need a break. For sure. This is insane. These taste so good. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. I keep starting projects being like, this is a nice, this is a nice little small project. This is gonna be a one weekend, two weekend max. Just a little project, you know? I'm yet to learn that those don't, don't actually exist. Those don't, those don't exist. So I'm done. I am mentally and physically exhausted. I'm done. The wall is, Maybe 50% done. Maybe 60. That whole bit there, you can see it. This is just taking so much longer than I thought. Classic. Um, and I really want to get a video out for you guys this week, so I'm gonna end it here. I feel like none of my videos ever have a satisfying conclusion. Literally, look. Remember that one time that we painted a chair? I have one beautifully painted chair and one black... This house is literally just a pile of unfinished projects. Okay, bye. <laughs>
I love you, subscribe.